I was a Lions fan growing up, and I guess my best memory was Thanksgiving Day game when he got sacked 10 times. Uh, that was probably the only time I could say, you know, we got Bart Starr growing up. But uh, I remember the first time I met him and just being awed by being in his presence and then seeing how he made me feel. Just regular guy, down to earth. And I said, wow, you know, if Bart Starr is like that, you know, what does that say that, that I should be like? Fellas, it's a, it's a treat to have you up here. First of all, Tark, man, you are huge. I, I, and I got to see you play, being in the Bay Area, I got to see you play at Cal, and uh, a heck of a player there, had all this great success with the Colts. How has it been having to block for Peyton Manning? Is there, is there an extra amount of pressure there when you know the, the, the golden goose is back there? <laughs> of course, you know, here in the city, uh, Peyton Manning is pretty a big icon. Uh, yeah, we are, we are the Hunter Smith Band, and uh, that's, that's what I'm doing now. I had lots of time to develop musical talent, sitting around watching our offense move the ball up and down the field. <laughs> there you go. That's, hey, <laughs> that's spectacular. Um, it, do you play an instrument as well? I do. I play a couple of them. I play guitar. Yeah, that's my main see, one. See, uh, living up to the standard that I said, that the punters and kickers really are talented. Jeff, I'm telling you, you are a good-looking dude. I, I don't recognize you from this side. Amen. That looks much more familiar. You, you've had one heck of a career. But there's a lot of changes that have happened, and, and Mr. Ursay is moving uh, a different direction. And uh, for the good, we hope. I mean, I still love the Colts, but I'm just going to let everything kind of play out. My wife and I are praying about it right now, and uh, my kids are getting older, so there's a lot of other things that come in the equation that we'll talk through. I still love my home team. I love the area. I still want the best for everybody here, but it's just one of those things I need to make the decision, and, and I'll decide later in the year. Yeah, great, Jeff. Thank you. Hey, guys, real quick, your, your favorite Super Bowl memory, one at a time. Tar. Favorite Super Bowl memory, I think, uh, is when we came back uh, to Indianapolis and uh, we seen the fans just kind of shut down the city and, and root us back when we got back here. So uh, just seeing the blue and white and, and, and riding on that float in the five degree weather, it was the best moment of my life. <laughs> Good stuff, buddy. Hunter, how about yourself? It was looking up at the clock and then seeing eight seconds, then seven, then six, and on down, and it just being over and the relief that we didn't screw up. Oh, <laughs> you know what? It's, I see that ring on you, and it looks really nice. Great Thank feeling. You very much. Jeff? Uh, I, I'd say uh, I, I love Tarek's answer as well, but having my, having my son on my shoulders and my daughter with my wife and us walking off the field, and even though it was raining, all the confetti, and just being able to walk off knowing uh, you're the greatest in America, it was a pretty special moment. Fantastic, fellas. Well, guys, thank you so much for coming up and sharing the hometown heroes.